Hey everyone, welcome to Planes Over It. It's a video upload after a long time, and and today we are doing the ADIRS of the Airbus A320. Please do not use any of this uh, information in practical application during any of your flight. So the ADIRS is Air Data and Inertial Reference System. It is one of the most important computers in this aircraft. There are three ADIRSs on this aircraft. Each has two parts: the Air Data Reference part and the Inertial Reference part. The air data, as you can see, is giving all this pneumatic data, barometric, altitude, airspeed, mock, angle of attack, temperature, overspeed warning. Whereas the inertial reference is giving us attitude, flight path vector, aircraft position, track and heading, acceleration and angular rates, ground speed and vertical speed. The vertical speed, however, primarily is an inertial reference uh, part. But if for some reason inertial reference fails, it can also has a backup of air data reference to show you vertical speed. The ADRS three is standby and always operational, and it is anytime ready to replace the ADRS one or two. Sensors: there are four types of sensors: pitot, static, angle of attack, total air temperature. So those are the numbers three for pitot. Static six are there. Angle of attack three, and total air temperature two. The ADRS one is all supplied by captain side probes. ADRS two all by first officer probes. ADRS three is a standby probes that it has, and since total air temperature, there's only two probes. The ADRS three takes from the captain total air temperature probe because we have only two total air temperature probes installed on the aircraft. Now the problem is that ADRS does not understand pneumatic data directly. This is the pneumatic data that we're talking about: pitot and static. So there are eight ADMs on this aircraft, air data modules, which convert this pneumatic data into usable numerical data for the ADIRS. Okay. Now ADIRS, there are uh, two types of alignment that we do. First one is the fast alignment, in which we switch the ADIRS mode selectors off and then back to nav within five seconds. Okay. So in this type of alignment, only the ground speed is reset and some other internal filters are reset to zero. But the whole position computation does not take place, and it must be performed whenever the difference between the IRS position and the FMGC position is at or above five nautical miles, and it takes about a minute to do. Complete alignment, on the other hand, is a full alignment of the ADIRS in which the mode selectors must be off for more than five seconds. So you keep them off and then put it to nav after five seconds. So what happens in this? The ADRS is use gravity and earth rotation to determine aircraft attitude, true heading, and estimate current aircraft latitude. This is of course nowadays uh, primarily adjusted, uh, assisted by GPS information because it's available throughout, and it takes around about seven minutes to do, and uh, it must be performed for the following cases: before first flight of the day, whenever there's a crew change. When there is GPS not available and we know that the nav aid through the expected route is going to be poor, nav aid is like your VOR DME. And the other fourth reason is GPS is not available and the expected flight time is more than three hours. These last two conditions are very rare nowadays because GPS is available throughout the globe, more or less um, uh, where the aircraft operates. So the primary reasons you will be doing is uh, first flight of the day and whenever there's a crew change. All right, so this is about the complete alignment. So that's it about ADIRS. If you have any doubts, please drop a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel and like the Facebook page for regular updates. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends, and you can catch me up, catch with me on uh, uh, the links mentioned. Cheers and happy landings, guys. Have a great day. Take care.